Eagle Seafoods, the iconic New England restaurant chain, is getting a new owner. What started as a fish market in Cambridge 70 years ago grew to more than two dozen restaurants across the East Coast. But this has been just a brutal time in the restaurant industry. And WBZ's John Keller spoke with Legal's CEO today, who said this was not the choice he wanted to make. I'm going to miss that sort of social interaction. Roger Berkowitz of the iconic Legal Seafoods restaurants didn't want to sell his 52-year-old business, but nine months of government-mandated shutdowns and restrictions have forced his hand and sparked an emotional debate over whether they're even necessary. I think we're being unfairly punished. Chris Coombs of Boston Urban Hospitality and other big-name local restaurant owners like Steve DiFilippo of Davio's claim the state's own data proves their case. We've only produced uh, four-tenths of one percent of all the COVID cases in the month of November. Where do you come down on that whole debate? On the side of caution or are you in DeFilippo's camp? Uh, certainly on the side of caution. A position backed up by this recent CDC study that found patients testing positive were quote twice as likely to have reported dining at a restaurant than were those testing negative. If you are in the business of protecting the public at the same time, which we felt we were doing through the restaurants, then you can't really argue with it. So I couldn't take a stand in saying you were doing the wrong thing by closing us down. Would you take your family out to eat indoors somewhere right now? Uh, right now, uh, I would be hesitant. And John, Legal Seafoods is such an iconic part of Boston. You know, if it isn't safe, it is, it, if it isn't fresh, it isn't legal. And Berkowitz has lasted so long in this business. So his decision to sell right now does feel like a significant moment. It's telling, Paula. I've known Roger Berkowitz for a long time. He's a real schmoozer. He loves the, the people part of the business. To ha see him selling and moving into an online business related to selling fish where there'll be a lot less human contact. You know, he and his family have been ahead of the curve within the industry for many years. First trend, one of the first trans fat free restaurants, few, uh, fusing Asian recipes into their menu. Uh, I think maybe once again, you gotta look at Berkowitz's move and say, boy, he maybe doesn't think that the in-person business is going to come back the way it was. What does that say about the future? It's, it's a bleak picture for restaurant owners all over our area.